This is f***ing hard. Oh Didn't even see god. it. Oh my god. So Clix has recently got a new gaming mouse as well as updated some of his Fortnite settings since I last made a video on him. Starting off with his mouse firstly, he is still on the Final Mouse Air 58 Ninja. However, now he has a custom Dreaming Cloven designed one. Yo, this is the same mouse I have, literally. Oh my god, so I could switch. It was created by the legend Natural Customs, an artist who's known for custom painted mice. I also believe that this was a gift from his manager for his recent birthday. Next from that though, we've got his keyboard and he is still using the Clix X Matrix Cotton Candy one, which he also got gifted by the way, another Air 58 Ninja to match this exact colorway. And as for his mouse pad, that's still the Clix X Matrix Demon Mode. His monitor is still the Alienware AW2523 HF, which is a 360Hz monitor. And his headset is the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros. Oh, as well, when he does decide to wear gaming glasses, he uses the Gunner Stark Industry ones on screen. For those wondering too what his current setup looks like, here is the most recent picture of it I could find. You can see most things are the same, but there has been a few updates since this picture, like his new mice, as well as his new PC. Which, moving on to his new PC setup, Plix does state it was made by a company called BR Paradox, which as you can see is a custom PC building company. And although he didn't actually mention the specs of the said PC, I imagine it to be something like this one on screen, which will be from like $6,000 to whatever. It could be higher for custom components, but I know for certain it will have probably the best processor, which is the Intel i9-14900K. It'll probably have a high-end motherboard. The RAM most likely will be maxed out, so it's going to have like 64 gigabytes. And I know for certain it will have an NVIDIA RTX 1490 graphics card. But no one clicks, he will definitely have the best PC these guys probably make. And for good reason, because he wants the most FPS possible. Moving on again though, we've got his video settings. His window mode is on full screen. His resolution is on the native 1920 by 1080 His frame rate limit is is on 360 FPS to match his monitor's hertz, and his rendering mode is on lower graphical fidelity to get a huge FPS boost over other rendering modes. His brightness is on the default 100%, and he is using a colorblind mode that's Deuteranope on strength number 4 or 5, I believe. His 3D resolution is on 100%, his view distance is on medium, which helps him see items at a further distance, his textures are on low, and his meshes are on low as well. For his game settings, he has the toggle sprint option turned on and auto open doors turned off. His disable pre-edit option is turned on and he also has auto confirm edits on none so each edit and reset is all manual. For his hood settings he's using the reticle ammo indicator that adds a little ammo indicator. His reticle damage feedback is on hit only which looks like this on screen and his damage number scale is on 88%. He's also got his hood scale on 69% and all the rest of these options are pretty much default. Next we've got his audio settings, his sound quality is on high which sounds the best. He's also got the visual sound effects turned on. Next, we've got his sensitivities. His X is on 8.7, his Y is on 6.3, his Targon is on 90.9, his Scope is on 35%, and both his building and editing sensitivities are on 100%, while also using a mouse DPI of 800, which most pros do use a high DPI, find out why in this video on screen. But as well as that, he's using a mouse hertz or pollen rate of only 500, with the default window sense and mouse acceleration disabled. As for his movement settings, he's actually using custom diagonal controls with a forward angle on 62, the strafe angle on 90, and the backward angle on 135. Moving on, we've got his key binds. His movement is pretty much default except sprint, which is on left control, and crouch, which is on C. He's got his reload on R, his use on E, his harvesting tool all the way down to slot 5 is from 1 to 6, his wall is on F, his floor is on X, his stairs is on Q, his roof is on V, and his trap is on T. He's also got his repair slash upgrade on H, his rotate building on R, and his building edit is on G. Moving on, here are some additional settings you should be using to increase your FPS and lower your ping. Next, we've got the best 
guest window settings. Inside the control panel under the privacy setting, you want to uncheck all four of these right here. Then if you go into the background applications, you want to simply uncheck all these and stop them from running in the background. After that, in the advanced system settings, go under performance. Then under visual effects, you want to adjust for best performance and then tick these essential settings on screen. After that, I like to go into the device manager under high precision event timer. And some people say that if you disable this, it can boost your FPS. It's something you should try and if not, just re-enable it. I also like to go into the run box and type in temp. I then like to select all of these and simply delete them. I do this again with percentage sign, temp percentage sign, and yet again with prefetch. Also, while the game is running, I press control, alt, delete, go into the task manager, I then find Fortnite, right click on it, go to details, then right click on the top EXE, set the priority from the default normal to high. Oh, if you go into game in two, specifically under the game bar, you want to ensure that that is turned off as it can give you micro stutters. As well, in the search, if you type in power plan, click edit power plan, then change advanced settings, you'll notice by default it's on a normal power plan. Instead, you want to change that to high performance, which as you can imagine, will make it perform at a higher level. Next, we've got the best Nvidia settings. Now, straight away, I recommend using the latest driver. It's something Epic Games themselves recommend. Alternatively, you can use an older driver like any of these legendary ones on screen. After that though, if you go inside your Nvidia control panel, then click use advanced 3D image settings and simply use all of these that have been optimized on screen in this video right here. Next, we've got the best network settings. Straight away, you want to update your network drivers to make sure these are the latest ones available. Then want to go into your network settings and basically set them up like I've got on screen. These are essentially the best network settings you can use just make sure we're to copy one for one what i'm using on screen right now after that you can use the lowest ping dns server which epic games themselves recommend just go into your network settings as shown on screen then in the dns section where you put the address you can put in a custom one and to find out which one is the best one for you you can use dns benchmark or you can type in this command on screen inside the cmd so starting off in the epic games launcher you want to head to the top right into the settings then scroll down to where it says desktop notifications and simply disable show free games and show news and special offers as these can cause FPS stutters when they're pushed out so it's best to disable both of them. After that you can scroll down slightly and open up Fortnite. You can tick the additional command line box and you can put in these three different commands if you'd like. Although I have heard that they don't actually do anything this season but I like to just try them anyway. Next in the library where you see Fortnite click on it and then go into the options and inside here you want to uncheck high res textures for a slight FPS boost. You want to uncheck DirectX 12 shaders as we're going to use performance mode and I also recommend using the pre-downloaded stream assets as this can help you big time with ping. You can also go into the Epic Games Launcher folder on Windows inside that engine file right there and actually paste in this command that I'll have in the description below. And what this does is it increases your download speeds on the Epic Games Launcher so you'll download game updates way faster than before. Next on your desktop press Windows K and R, then type in percentage sign local app data. Then you want to press F, scroll down until you find Fortnite game. And this right here is what we're going to be resetting. We're essentially going to delete it. But if you're a bit worried about that, you can make it back up. But I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for it and literally press the delete button. And just like that, it's been deleted. And the reason for this is it gets rid of all the old, outdated files and replaces them with brand new ones. If you scroll down to the Fortnite game folder, you'll see it's reappeared with brand new, fresh settings. Just go inside of it, then go into save, then config, then windows client, and here is your fresh game user settings config file. So if you slowly scroll down until you get to these global illumination quality settings, you want all of these on zero, just change them from one to zero. Another thing I recommend disabling is the energy saving modes, apparently these can give you a slight FPS boost, so you want to change both of these to false if you can. If you scroll down you will find the scalability groups. Now the resolution quality I do highly recommend using um, 100 as this will give you the best quality. Some people do lower this value slightly if they want more FPS. View distance I talked about earlier, I like having that on a higher one. And then for all of these settings right here, they should be on zero. So for shading quality, go ahead and turn that off. Same with foliage quality. 
And then you want landscape quality off too. I believe that's a new setting. But all of these off or on zero should give you more FPS. After, don't forget to click file and then save. Oh, as well, inside the Epic Games launcher, I also like to verify the files to make sure these are all good for the brand new chapter. And that right there is all the updates you need to know about clicks. If you want more videos like this one, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And before you go, feel free to check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now.